Hello, my name is John Cleveland with Clean Oil USA, and what I'm going to be demonstrating for you today is a product called Biomatrix, what we consider one of the most powerful absorbents on the planet. We're going to be demonstrating against a product called clay or kitty litter. Uh, most of you uh, household people know what uh, kitty litter looks like. Uh, in the industrial commercial world, know what uh, the oil dry, floor dry, your, your clay product, which is pretty much made up of granules that we consider an adsorbent. Um, and I'll explain the difference between the two later. We're going to use some basic uh, diesel used motor oil, which is typically something that would get spilt on a shop floor. And we're going to cover one of them with your clay based product. And we're going to cover the other one with Biomatrix. I'm going to try to use two equal amounts. The key of the product generally will not be put down and picked up right away. Normally you will sit overnight, come back the next day, and they will scoop this up. In some places I've seen piles of cat litter pile up for four or five days. The bottom line is, is the cat litter doesn't have very good wicking properties. As you can see, the oil is still leaving a lot of residue, and it's still underneath here. If I take the... Uh, the key litter and pick it up you can see that the oil is conglomerated around the clay granules and it's leaching and leaving a lot of residue on my fingers here. Where on the bomb matrix I can move the product aside just the way I did here. This is all that was sitting on top but the bomb matrix is a very good wicking agent where I just push it back and forth and my surface is completely dry and I can even clean off my fingers here with all the residue that was on the, the, the key litter. And so you get no leaching, you get no oil residue when you use the, the biomatrix. Now I'm going to pile this back up again and we're going to push this to the side and we'll pick up the, the residue here that the clay product left behind and we're going to pile this, this thing up for another round. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little hole here and we're going to go with some transmission fluid. And I'm going to fill this completely up with red transmission fluid. Typical ATF transmission fluid. It has a little bit lighter viscosity than your 40 weight motor oil. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm still let this, uh, the key litter sit over here on the side. We're going to also show paint. And what I like to do is take an oil-based paint. Apply it to the pan. And then we're going to cover that with key litter. Let's let that sit for a little while. And generally, again, as I move the clay across the pan, you can see that the paint is leaving a trail behind and the, the key litter is yellow on the outside, but the surface tension is not really holding on to much of the paint and you, you've got a lot of residue on the bottom. Again, demonstrating that it's not a very good wicking agent. Most of the clay granules with the oil and the paint are conglomerating to the outside. In other words, that's how we come up with the word adsorbent versus absorbent. Where when I put the biomatrix down, you'll see all this yellow paint here as I move it about the pan will be quickly absorbed into the peat moss and you have no yellow residue whatsoever 
and it's completely encapsulated into our product. Now the difference between the absorbent, the biomatrix, which is made from 100% organic sphagnum peat moss that has been heat activated and dried down to a moisture content of 10%. Once it reaches that level, a lot of these cells that we've referred to as barrel cells, uh, peat moss, much like a sponge, uh, these cells become empty uh, with water in its hydrophilic state. And when we put, uh, when we dry it, those cells all of a sudden be vacated and, um, and now they're ready to absorb oil. And once it absorbs oil, it encapsulates it and it'll hold that oil in to 50 pounds of pressure per square inch. So it's safe for landfill, it will not leach out into other trash, and it can even be land farmed and successfully oil, oil spills can be cleaned up without any leaching at all. And again, we just picked up that paint. I can even put down some more paint 